Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how you can add screens to 3D mockups using the Angle library and the Angle plugin. So let's begin. So in case you never heard about Angle, it is a vector and 3D mockup library made for Sketch, Figma and Adobe XD. Currently the library has more than 1000 devices and different sets of compositions. It is a paid library, but you can download the free version. The library includes different devices like iPhones, Android phones, tablets, watches, MacBook Pros, iMacs, and even the latest ones like the Pro Display XDR, and also many Pixels and Samsung devices. Now let's go to Adobe XD. So let's pretend that we have to launch a new product and we need to prepare different mockups for a presentation or maybe for the landing page. So for this example, we will use multiple devices like an iMac, an iPad, an iPhone, and the Galaxy 10 Plus. Before we begin, make sure that you have all the different artboards for all the devices. So for example, we have the artboard for our iMac, for the iPad Pro, and the mobile devices. And this is important because for the plugin to work, we need to have artboards in place. Okay, now that we make sure that we have the artboards in place, let's install the plugin. So I will go to the menu bar, then let's go to Discover Plugins, over there, let's choose Browse and let's type Angle. Just double click here and install the plugin. Okay, perfect. Now we just can close the window. Now we are ready to work with the plugin. So let's select the device. Now double click to select the screen layer of the device. Then let's go to Plugins, Angle and apply Mocap. You can either go this way or just use the shortcut, Control A. For this case, I will just continue with the flow. So I will click over here and then a new window will pop up. And as you can see, we have different things in our menu. So we can choose the artboard, the pixel density, the quality, and also the orientation. Now let's hit apply and let's wait for a few seconds. And boom, there you go. The only thing you need to make sure is that you have the right size of the artboard for the right device. Now let's continue. So let's go to our iPad mockup and over there, make sure to select the device then double click, so you select the screen layer and then let's apply the mockup. So let's go to apply mockup, hit over there and we have the menu. Let's go to the Arbo drop down and over there let's choose iPad Pro. Then let's hit apply. Let's wait for a while. There you go. Now let's repeat the same process for our other mockup, which is the clay version of the iPad. So I will select the device and I will double click on the screen so I can be on the screen layer. Then I will use the shortcut, which is Control A. Perfect. Now that I have the menu, I will go to the drop down and I will choose iPad Pro. And then I will hit apply. Let's wait for a few seconds and boom, there you go. Now let's go to the iPhone. And I will just repeat the same process. I will select the device, double click to make sure that I'm choosing the right screen. And let's hit Control A. The menu will pop up and on the Arbo drop down, let's choose iPhone. Let's click apply. There you go. Now we have the other angle of our device, so let's do the same. Let's choose the device, let's choose the screen, Control A, let's change the, the artboard, let's hit apply, boom. Something that I would like to stress from the library is the attention to the detail. So as you can see we have the notch, the camera, the reflections on the border, and everything is vectorized. Let's go to our Galaxy 10 mockups. Over there, let's select one of them. Now we can go to the layer list and make sure that we are selecting the right screen. Let's hit Ctrl A and over there let's choose the right artboard, Android Mobile 1. Let's wait for a while. There you go. Now let's select the other device. Let's do the same process. Select the screen, Ctrl A, choose the right artboard, hit apply, wait for a while, boom. So this is the end of the tutorial and as you saw, it was very simple to add different screens to a different type of devices. So if you like the video, please give us the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments, please put it on the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.